Hey everyone, Radel Vecchio here. I want to talk to you today about backing up your WordPress website. And if you're going to create a WordPress website, you really have to back it up because if you don't, then there's a lot of things that can happen. You can have plugins that mess up your site. You can have hackers that hack into your site. You can have malware installed on your site. So you always want to be protected against this with a backup. And even though there's plugins that can do this, and I'll eventually link to a video that goes through the process of backing up your site with a plugin, but today I want to go through this process of how to do it manually and the steps that are involved. So if you watch my How WordPress Works video, you know that WordPress is divided into files and a database. So we have to back up each of those parts in order to get a full backup of our WordPress website. I'm going to show you two ways that you can back up your files and then we're also going to go through the process of backing up the database which is really simple. First we're going to start with the files. Right now as you can see I'm logged into my cPanel account. Um, so if you have a different host you might not use cPanel but the majority of the hosts, the large hosts out there that people use do have cPanel installed. We're going to go into our file manager and if you go down here it's this button right here but I already have this tab open. Let me click through and right now you'll see all the files that make up our WordPress installation. We have our three main folders, the WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes, and then the rest of our PHP files. At this point, all we need to do is select all these files. So I'm going to hit the Select All button, and that should highlight everything. And then I want to compress this into a zip file. So I'm going to hit the Compress button up here, select Zip Arc, archive and you can choose these other options if they work better on your system maybe um, you'd rather have a different file type on a Mac right now I'm using a PC and then you pick the file name that you want to um, save this as so I'm not going to save it as WP at man I'm just going to save it as WP dash backup dot zip so let's compress that file and I'm going to pause the video as it goes through this process and here we go we have the compression results done and it looks like all these were added successfully to the file and our WP backup.zip files right here. So all I need to do is highlight this file and I'll just click the download button and I'll download a copy of our complete backup. So the next way that we can download these files is using an FTP program and my FTP program of choice is FileZilla. And FileZilla is available for both Mac and PC and I have a window open right now. I'm connected to my web server and you'll see the, these are the same website files that I was looking at in the cPanel file manager. But if I refresh this you should actually see the zip file that we just created. So let me do that. And there's our WP backup.zip file. Now that we have this file created we really just need to back up the zip file but to take you through the example I'm going to delete this zip file and what I want to do is just back up all of these files without the compressed format. So I'm going to go into this FTP folder just to show you how to back up the files with FTP. And what I want to do here is just select every folder and every file, excluding this uh, dot file because that's like a hidden folder. But let me just copy and paste these on from my web server to my desktop. So all I'm doing is individually transferring all these files. And this might take a little bit of time. It usually takes more time with FileZilla. And you'll see once we do that, it starts queuing up the files. And there's usually thousands of files. So I'm going to pause this video as this process completes. All right, we're finally done this process. And as you can see, we have the identical files on our desktop as we do on our website server so we made a backup of the files that way in addition to the zip file way through the cPanel file manager and now that we have the files backed up twice really I want to show you how to back up the database and this is even easier than backing up the files all you have to do is go back into your cPanel account what you want to do is go to the databases section you create and delete databases using this my SQL databases section but if you want to edit and back up your database you have to do it using this PHP my admin so I have PHP my admin open in another tab here with the correct database 
opened. And you could see that WordPress consists of all these different tables within the database. There's your comments, there's links, there's options, your posts, terms, taxonomy, and users. So this is all the stuff that's stored within your database. And the way that we want to back this up is simply by going over to the export tab over here. And you could do this just using the quick export. Make sure it's SQL format and just click go and you're going to download a copy of that in a .sql file. So once you have that done, you have both your files and your database backed up. Now, you want to do this on a consistent basis. You want to do this probably weekly or monthly depending on how often the WordPress website is updated. So you always have a clean copy on hand if anything were to go wrong with the website. And really you don't want to do that manually. So if you want to learn how to do this using a plugin that performs this automatically that can even export to Dropbox or some other type of cloud storage. Uh, click on this video. I'm going to include a link to another video of me going through the process of setting this up using an automatic plugin. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do a lot more videos on WordPress, web design, and building a business from home with your website skills.